so many people have a question what is the right treatment for treating ringworms and fungal infections most people also complain that even after getting treated there is recurrence uh, they always come back so the best answer to these questions is that right antifungal treatment right dose and right duration is the key for getting rid of ringworms tinea corporis jockets no matter what you call them so the reason that doctors feel it's not the doctors it's most of the time patients is that they have to know this that once you are on antifungal therapy this therapy is going to take care of the fungus that is present while the antifungal is being prescribed to you but if the fungus comes back after we stop the therapy that time the ringworms can come back now why this happens this happens usually due to improper maintenance of hygiene or wrong choice of undergarments i have seen in india most of the young ch- uh, young teenagers and young men they are accustomed of wear accustomed to wear the frenchy type of underwear which is very wrong it's tight and it also creates a lot of abra- abrasions rubs in the insides and in the inners of the thighs the best thing that you can do is simply wear a cotton boxer inside your trousers which is going to keep you airy which is uh, not going to make you sweat and there is lot lot of uh, less chance of you developing ringworms with these types of undergarment because india is a very humid country with a lot of sweat and a lot of moisture so the best thing as i said is using a nice pair of boxes second thing i have seen that uh, once antifungal therapy is over and if the patient is prescribed with steroid that time the patient has a recurrent a uh, recurrence of tinea corporis the episode again begins and then you might say that sir i don't take steroids or i'm not exposed to steroids the answer is when you go to your doctor you put pressure on him ki i have to get well tomorrow is an interview tomorrow is a important presentation or tomorrow is an exam that time the doctor comes under pressure and uh, he also prescribes he also prescribes steroids so that the recovery is fast inflammation goes down and then you are able to show up the day to come with one tablet with one once you know if you get exposed to even a single tablet of steroid the chances of your uh, fungus returning is high so that is the reason you have to stay away from steroid intake now there is no way written in any book that you should avoid eating non vegetarian food when you are dealing with ringworm but this is my personal experience as a poultry is loaded with steroids and with, uh, with antibiotics you should also stay away from non vegetarian food for the coming two months after you end up with your antifungal therapy so this ensures that you have good results now coming towards drugs the choice of drugs for today's dermatologists and today's uh, family physicians it is wide so we go along with oral drugs like itraconazole tabinafen and uh, ketoconazole fluconazole now the choice depends on the condition of the liver of the patient the kidney of the patient to make it very very simple in language it also depends on the heart profile of the patient because recently uh, in indian journal of pharmacology we have found that hydroconazole can reduce coronary supply and it can have side effects which may make congestive heart failure so all these drugs when we are choosing them there is a yardstick the age renal impairment hepatic impairment and history of congestive heart failure so the choice is depending on the status of issues that the patient is facing the health status of the patient also if the patient is pregnant then the choice remains to flux fluconazole at least for me i don't like to take risks and then there's a wide array of uh, topical lotions out of which oxydom uh, oxyconazole is my favorite because uh, i have been using it since the last 3 4 years uh, a topical antifungal agent combined with an oral antifungal agent gives good results and my choice is zodom that's oxyconazole the other thing the other other creams that i like to use is amlorfin luliconazole and then there's ibuconazole these are all good drugs and i think they are all equal and it is only the doctor's mind that is 
you know fixated towards describing certain things that you know bore him good results so oxygenozol is my choice you might use oxygenozol but patients should be you know deterred from self medication because one more drug ketoconazole i have uh, heard that certain people were promoting it who were non doctors who from not from medical field they don't know that the side effect of ketoconazole is gynecomastia and because of this there is another uh, side effect you know uh, which is erectile dysfunction because ketoconazole reduces testosterone so you know self medication because when a drug is promoted when a drug you know is talked about they only talk to talk about the benefits they don't talk about the side effect they don't talk about what schemes and analysis uh, that goes inside a doctor's brain when uh, he is choosing the drug you know yeah, considering the condition of the patient that is how it happens and in some cases we also have to give pulse therapy to the patient that is giving antifungal for the first 7 days of every month till his problem is over personally i also like to use antifungal sprays instead of using antifungal creams and ointments when nails are involved because sprays have a greater invasion this is how i approach my patient i am being a non dermatologist being a family physician I like to do this i'm sure that the dermatologist would have an expert approach but uh, what is important is talk about you know the local preparations that are available in the market the uh, preparations like pan dum fi curi dum fi there are many preparations which boost to treat your ringworms in reality they are combination of antifungal steroid and an antibiotic considering whatever problem it is it's going to take care of it because it has the best of three the problem is steroid is a uh, steroid serves as a nourishment for the, for, for, for ringworms So if you apply steroids on ringworm, it's going to go away. But after some time, it's going to come back with more strength. So these creams are they are going to give you comfort, but they are not going to resolve your issue. And uh, also, there are cases where the skin has gone into atrophy. There have been dark patches, which is very difficult to get rid of. So one should stay away from from these, you know, combinations and stick to pure antifungals. Now, when to use an antifungal? and to diagnose whether this problem is really tinea corporis or uh, ringworm is completely based on the skill of the doctor because there is one more condition which looks like ringworm and so that's a uh, numular eczema and uh, the way of treating numular eczema is steroid application and cefalexin so that's a really different topic to talk about but yes so stay away from self medication listen to your doctor let your di- doctor diagnose and uh, these are my experiences if anyone has you know corrections to make please comment below you can also email me on drpankajteacher@gmail.com and tweet to me i would like to learn from my colleagues and this audio clip of mine is made with an intention so made with an intention to you know to share something with my colleagues who are doctors and to also educate our patients Thank you.